Speaking of uh, soundtracks, this film has an English language soundtrack that was produced upon the initial release uh, that we mentioned, you know, The Clash of the Bionoids, 90 minute cut of this film, and then the unedited version we got over here. So unless you were importing Laserdiscs or you had a pe Japanese pen pal who was sending you a copy, uh, this was the only way you could watch this particular film in the States. That's interesting. Is that score any good, Ethan? Oh, no, it doesn't. The Clash of the Bion Bionoids doesn't have a separate score, unfortunately. Oh, I imagine okay. if they'd been, done a Robotech version, it would have had a separate score. That would have been mm. interesting. But no, the when I, when I say soundtrack, I guess I mean like audio track for it. Oh, um, I see. Of course. Well, there, there are a couple songs in this. There's a Swedish version dub of this film where they dubbed all the songs, which is interesting. Hey, allihopa! Jag heter Lin Ming Mei. They do a good job for what they have. I'll grant them that. Well, actually, there is another English soundtrack. There's a fan dub of this film, and the voice actress Christina V, who plays, I believe, Sailor Mars, and like she became a, a real deal proper voice actress after doing this fan dub, where she played Lin Min May. So I thanked them for everything, and told them I would do my best, and one day become a famous singer. Uh, and it was sort of, I believe, like her jumping off point. Yeah, most notably, she played um, Sailor Mars in the Viz dub of uh, Sailor Moon, amongst many other things. She's a real, real name. If you really want to watch this movie in English, that's probably your best bet. It's a fan dub, but it's one of the better ones I've heard. And I think Christina V has a, does a good, really good job as Midnight. But, but no, we're talking about the Toho dub, baby. Male and female micro-human. That's right. They were together. They seem to be friends. Austin, do you want to lead us <laughs> off on this? Heinous for the most part. First of all, it's confusing that they used the Japanese Mari Ichima tracks for every song except for one. That deviation raised an eyebrow of mine. There are times that the large gap you can close speaking Japanese compared to how slowly some English rolls out is very noticeable, particularly when Minmei and Hikaru are trapped inside the engine block and Hikaru is talking like he had a stroke. One scene that completely gets recontextualized to be blindingly dumb is when Hikaru and uh, Misa are on Earth and he laments about taking Minmei out to Saturn. Saturn. In Japanese, Misa is trying to get him to shut up about being sad and patrol the Earth and do his job. In the English dub, uh, Misa says, oh, it's our duty to go on patrol, referencing the illegal joyride. Like, it's they, they f*** that up. And there are so many broken lines, and the Zentradi sound terrible. It's a trash tier dub. I thought it was very funny. I get why you like it. I mean, I'm going to echo a lot of what Austin says, because I don't... I have a feeling, Ethan, you grew up with this dub and you have a lot of nostalgia for it. Am I correct in that? <laughs> I have, I, I had a DVD copy of this film, to be clear. So it, like, a, it was a bootleg. So I was mm -hmm. able to watch it in the original Japanese. I do have a lot of nostalgia for this dub, all the same. I listened to snippets of it, but of course, very recently. And I feel like the dub is at the intersection of amateur and hammy, which when you get that energy, it tends to produce a dub with a lot of character. I'm thinking of the first giant robo dub. These have surely gained us the upper hand now they can never win the battle is over with ha which has some like really awkward lines and throws in expletives where there shouldn't be expletives i get like a lot of those vibes from this dub and i appreciate it i've had a feeling the voice actors had a lot of fun with some of the scenes and i have a feeling they weren't given a lot a whole lot of direction or a whole lot of opportunity to redo lines a pilot of the joint forces lieutenant hikaru hichiko Thank you, Lieutenant. Yeah, there's a lot of lines. Like when he says Hikaru Ichiko, it's clear that it's a first read, <laughs> like first time, last time. And it, this was all dubbed in Hong Kong. So it's a lot of British people that they just sort of brought in that weren't necessarily actors. And it shows. It's more reminiscent of like, if you watch dubs of old Kung Fu movies too, mm, that's, that, yeah. yeah, that's this kind of dub. It has a very distinct charm, especially for something this gorgeous. And like, you rarely see this for like really good high quality anime. I love it. I think it's hilarious when um, Hikaru shouts, Go for your life! as um, Roy Foker dies, because he's supposed to shout Roy or some, literally anything else, but he just goes, Ming Mei. Um, <laughs> great. <laughs> they constantly goof lines. Just watch Jet Junkie in action. Roy has a bunch of good lines in this one. So what? You can still fight when you're drunk? He's already always slurring his lines, so when he's drunk, it just makes it even better. Roy drunk was the, definitely the highlight. Yes, exactly. Um, I really like the Zentradi delivery in that one, too. 
really good stuff. I think it really puts a point on how obnoxious the, the Max's last name is genius jokes are. You really are a genius, Kakazaki says. Oh god, I can just quote it. Like that's, That makes up a huge chunk of my lexicon and what I think is funny. <laughs> just quotes from that dub. I think it's incredibly charming. There was a point where when I watched this film all the time, I would watch it like just to put on the dub because I wanted something kind of fun to listen mm-hmm. to. Like, it wasn't quite so heavy. But yeah, no, good stuff. Just watch Jet Jockey in action. Just slid my ticket across the table and I said, sorry guys, I gotta see about a girl.